Adding an aftermarket exhaust is one of the easiest ways to add some character and performance to your Harley Davidson motorcycle. So we contacted five leading exhaust manufacturers and asked them to send over a slip on style muffler for use on our Harley Davidson 48 motorcycle, which is equipped with a 1200cc Sportster V twin engine. First up, we tested the Bassani pipes. Uh, the Bassani pipes are. They're excellent. They, they, they look unbelievable. They have like this cool like shotgun kind of like muzzle design on the end cap of it. The chrome, they match the headers perfectly. They produce a lot more power. The fuel injection is still crisp. It's still good. It doesn't backfire very much. If you live around like sensitive neighbors or a sensitive business park, like these pipes would get you in trouble. Akropovich pipes are known in the road racing scene. They make a really high quality, high performance mufflers for sport bikes. But when we pulled them out of the box, like they, they look nice. The craftsmanship's real nice. The welds, everything's real perfect, real nice. Since the pipes are black, they actually have a black little metal plates that they go on, that go on top of the headers just to kind of cover it and give it that smooth black look. Sound wise, I love the sound of the Akropovich pipes. They give the, the Harley Davidson like a real modern, contemporary exhaust tone. Uh, Power-wise, since they have a, a removable catalytic converter, we didn't get as much power as we wanted to. Power is a little bit better in stock, but again, the sound was unbelievable. If you're looking for like some kind of new age, you should check them out, even though they are kind of expensive at uh, $1,049. Screaming Eagle. Screaming Eagle pipes are made by Harley Davidson. It's their, it's their OEM kind of aftermarket arm. and. Uh, since they're designed by the same guys who design your motorcycle, the fit, the fit is excellent. Uh, the only bad thing though is the, the finish on them. They were kind of the most crude looking pipes in this contest. Jetting wise and fueling wise, the bike ran great as expected. It's an OEM, it's designed by an OEM, so it, honestly it, the bike runs great. Sound was a little bit beefier than stock. It wasn't overly powerful. I actually like the sound of the Screaming Eagle pipes a lot. Like they're, they give it a little bit more like pizzazz, but they're not gonna like attract a lot of unwanted attention or piss a lot of people off. So if you're looking for just a pipe that kind of boosts the performance a little bit, makes the bike run just about as good as stock, and uh, easy, easy to install, the Screaming Eagle's definitely a choice for that. Next pipe is the Bub Pipe, B-U-B. Uh, these pipes, again, um, they look real nice. They look almost like the Bassani's, but they're a little more smoother. Again, they made a lot of power on the dyno. They had really good torque numbers, and the engine fueling was pretty good. Not quite as good as the Bassani. The, with the bubs, the engine backfired a little bit, but uh, not, not that big of a deal. Like the Bassani's, these pipes are loud. Like, they are loud. They are crazy, crazy loud. Like, like when you're riding the bike, it almost feels like it has straight pipes with the bubs. The bike has so much, so much acceleration. It turns the stock Harley-Davidson from mild to wild. They're just too loud. Like, I, I couldn't, I couldn't, I couldn't ride them. somewhere where noise isn't a problem, by all means, bubs can be a great pipe for you. The last pipes in this test the Vance & Hines. Vance & Hines pipes. Vance & Hines has a long history in racing. They've been making pipes for a long time, I think like over 30 years. And uh, when we pulled the Vance & Hines pipes out of the box, I wasn't impressed. Um, they kind of looked kind of janky, fit and finish, didn't look, look as good as other, part, other pipes. They got like this weird like little bracket thing you got to kind of fit on there. So it makes a little more pain to kind of mount them up and stuff like that. But when we threw them on the dyno, the thing, the pipes made good power. Jetting was pretty good, the bike ran well, it backfired a little bit, but not super bad at all by any means. Like, this is what the Screaming Eagle should have sounded like. They give it a lot more throwier exhaust note, a um, little more wake your neighbors, you're gonna piss some people off with them. But man, like, just behind the cockpit of the bike, I just love the sound of them, and I love the performance. Like, they give the bike more get up and go. And, uh, Price is good too. Like they're one of the most competitively priced pipes in this contest. And uh, even though the Bassanis win in outright performance in the scorecard, if it was up to me, I would be probably purchasing a set of Vance and Hines for my Harley Davidson.